Hey guys, I'm headed out to do a little bit of drone flying. Today I'm going to review the tap fly and the point of interest intelligent flight modes. I have not tried out tap fly. Um, it's a little scary to me. I um, don't know how it's going to be with object avoidance and everything, but it's supposed to be good. I guess we're going to find out. Let's do some drone flying. try tap fly here um, this is the first time trying this okay tap screen to define direction horizontal indication line tap to fly horizontally tap above or below to fly upwards okay so the first time around I aimed it sort of at a group of trees uh, to see if I could um, if there was any obstacle avoidance and as it got closer you'll see yeah right about here it says ascending and obstacle avoiding obstacle so it actually went around that tree which is pretty sweet Bring it a little bit further down now we're going to try tap flying over to here. Right now it has stopped flying, um, it uh, stopped because of obstacle avoidance. It seems to be trying to make its way out of the uh, obstacle, uh, it keeps going up slightly, but I don't think it's, it's doing anything. So I'm going to bring it back and stop it, back it up. All right, so that was tap flight. The next thing I'm going to try is the point of interest intelligent flight mode. I'm going to give that a try. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fly it above the point of interest. Okay. All right, so there's my point of interest. I'm going to back it out. Get a nice shot of the tree. Alright, and I'm going to start my I'm going to start my uh, flight around the point of interest. And it gets a nice smooth circle around the tree. Um, and frankly, this type of shot, this sort of circular uh, panning shot is a great shot for getting with a drone because drones don't tend to fly fast enough to get these sort of fast shots so mm -hmm. 